Assalamu alaikum viewers, uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, today, we're going to revise KCSE 2019 Mathematic Paper 2. And we'll start with the first question, which is simplify root 5 plus 3 divided by root 5 minus 2. And then you give the answer in the form a plus b root c, where a, b, and c are integers. So if we solve this kind of question, first, uh, the, the question is root 5 plus 3 all over root 5 minus 2. So for you to simplify this one, you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator, the conjugates of the denominator. And what is the conjugate of the denominator? If you can see here, the sign here is negative. So the conjugate of the denominator will be positive. So time is root 5 plus 2 divided by root 5 plus 2. We multiply root 5 times root 5 we have root 25 root 5 times 2 we have 2 root 5 so we are done with the root 5 we go to the number 3 so 3 times root 5 we have plus 3 root 5 3 times 2 then we have plus 6 all over root 5 times root 5 we have root 25 root 5 times 2, we have plus 2 root 5 uh -huh. minus 2 times root 5, we have minus 2 root 5 then negative 2 times positive 2 negative times positive becomes negative 2 times 2, we are going to have 4 good root 25 so the root of 25, we are going to have 5 plus, so you just add the coefficient. So we have 2 plus 3, we are going to have 5, root 5, plus 6. All over root 25, we say that is 5. Now here we have positive 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5. That one now becomes 0. And then we have minus 4. Good. So if we have together, 5 plus 6, we have 11 plus 5 root 5 divided by 5 minus 4, that would be 1. So here we have 11 plus 5 root 5 as your answer. So you have written in the form of a plus b root c where a is 11, b is 5, and c now becomes 5. So that's the question is like the two types of flow, x and y, cost shilling 60 and 72 per kilogram respectively. The two are mixed such that the cost of a kilogram of the fixture of the fix of the mixture is shilling 70. Calculate the ratio x is to y of the mixture. Next The ratio of the mixture B, uh, B X is to Y. Okay? Good. Now, uh, for us to get now the cost of uh, the cost of a kilogram of the mixture, then first we have to multiply the type of the flow times the cost. And then we divide by uh, uh, the sum of the ratio. We divide by the sum of the ratio. So we're going to have uh, 60 times x. We are going to have 60x plus 72 times y. We have 72y divided by the sum of the ratio of the mixture, which is x plus y. x plus y. This one should give us the chilling 70. 
Let us write for the flight. So we have a uh, 60x plus 72y 70 into bracket x plus y. So we can open the bracket. So we have uh, 60x plus 72y will be equal to 7 times x. We have 70x. 7 times y. We have 71. Then we collect like terms together. We take the value of y on that side and we take the value of x on that side. So therefore we have 60x. So here we have 70x. When we take it on the other side, it becomes negative. Minus 70x will be equal to minus 72y plus 70y. 60x minus 70x. That will be negative 10x will be equal to minus 72 plus 70. That will become negative 2y. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Negative, negative, positive by 2, 1 by 2, 1. So we have uh, y by negative 2, 1 by negative 2, we have 5. So we have 5x. Therefore, if we divide by y, divide by y, divide by y both sides, then we're going to have 5x divided by y will be equal to 1, because by y, by y divided by y gives you 1. So I have the 5 again, times 1 all over 5, both sides, times 1 all over 5. So 5 comes with 5, therefore x all over y will be equal to 1 all over 5. Therefore, the ratio of the mixture, x is to y, will be equal to the value of x is 1. 1 is to 5. So that is how you find uh, the ratio of the mixture. And the question is like a quantity P varies inversely as the square of another quantity M. When P is 0 0.625, L is 4. Determine P when L is 0 0.2. Uh, this question is from uh, uh, formula and variation. Formula and a solution, we are told D varies inversely. That would be 1 over the square of quantity L, L squared. So, if I written as P will be equal to K times 1 over L squared. So, here we have P will be equal to k all over L squared, where k is the constant of proportionality. Where k is the constant of proportionality. So we are given the value of P and the value of L so that we can find the value of k. So P is 0 0.625 equal to k all over L. L is 4, so we have 4 squared. Therefore, to get k, then we can say 0 0.625 times 4 squared, which is 16. So, using now the calculator, when you multiply 0 0.625 times 16, you are going to get the value of k is 10. Once you get the value of k, you have to replace the value of k in the equation as 10. Therefore, now p becomes 10 over L squared. So that is the equation. That we, we are told to get P when L is 0 0.2. To get P will be equal to 10 all over L. And in this case L is 0 0.2. So we have 0 0.2 squared. So we have 10 divided by 0 0.2 squared over 0 0.04 uh, times 100 times 100. So we have 1,000 divided by 4. By 4, 1. By 4, we have 2. Because of 8, 2 we have there. Uh, 5, 250. So 1,000 divided by 4, we are going to get 250. So the value of P is 250 when L is 0 0.2. So that's how you are supposed to tackle a question of that kind. 
<coughs> an arc of a circle subtends an angle of 150 degrees at the circumference of the circle. Calculate the angle subtended by the same arc at the, circum at the center of the circle. So solution. So here we have uh, the circle. of center O, a circle of center O. So let's say here we have arc AB. So this arc subtends an angle of 150 at the circumference. This arc subtends an angle of 150 at the circumference. Now the question is asking, uh, calculate the angle subtended by the same arc AB at the center. So what you do here is, you join from A to center, and from center to B. So the question that's been asked later is twice that subtended at the circumference. That is when they have the same, the same arc. So angle, angle at the center will now be equal to twice that subtended at the circumference. So we'll put you the two, times 150. This will all become 250. We have 300 degrees. So the angle subtended at the center will be 300 uh, degrees. Let us now use a, a substitution to solve this kind of question. We first use the first equation. We make x the subject of the formula. Therefore, x will be equal to, we take 3y on the other side. So we have 13 minus 3y. Now, we use the second equation. Where we have x, we replace with 13 minus 3y. So here we have x squared, and x is 13 minus 3y. So 13 minus 3y squared plus 3y squared will be equal to 43. Let's open the bracket. We have 13 minus 3y. 13 minus 3y plus 3y squared will be equal to 43. 13 times 13, we have 169. 13 times 3, we have minus 39y. Minus 3 times 13, we have minus 39y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y squared will be equal to 43. So we can put the right together. 169 minus 39y minus 39y. We are going to have minus 78. 78y plus 9y squared plus 3y squared, we have to all of y squared will be equal to 43. So all of y squared minus 78y plus 169 minus, with minus 43 will be equal to 0. So we have to all of y squared minus 78y plus 169 minus 43. We are going to have 126 equal to 0. So here we have a quadratic equation. So we can solve this for a common factor. Divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6. So we have 2y squared by 6, 1 by 6. We are going to have uh, 13. So we have 13y plus by 6, 1 by 6, we have 21 equals to 0. So the product is the 2 times 21, we have of 2, and the sum will be negative 13. So the two numbers are negative 6 and negative 7. Negative 6 times negative 7, we have positive for 2. Minus 6 plus minus 7, we have negative 13. Therefore, 2y squared minus 6y minus 7y plus 21 equals to 0. 
What is common here? 2y is common. Let's factor out. 2y squared divided by 2y, we have y. 6y divided by 2y, we have 3. What is common here? Negative 7 is common. We have y minus 3 equal to 0. So we have 2y minus 7. Since they are same with this one, y minus 3 equals to 0. 5 minus 7 equals to 0. Take y on that side. Therefore, 2y will be equal to 7. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So y is uh, 3.5. Okay? When y is 3.5, what will be the value of x? Remember, x we say is 13 minus 3y. Therefore, x will be equal to 13 minus 3y. And y is 3.3.5. So we have 13 minus 3 times 3.5, we are going to have 10.5. So 13 minus 10.5, we are going to have 2.5. So when y is 3.5, x now becomes 2.5 or y minus 3 equals to 0 that means y equals to take 3 on that side y will be equals to 3 so when y is 3 what will be the value of x so x will be equals to 13 minus 3y and y is 3 so we have 13 minus 9 13 minus 9 we are going to have 4. So when y is 3, x will be equal to 4. And that is how.